Hello everyone, this is Alko193. Today, not only here as a Yugi tuber, but also as part of the DNYCS coverage team, where I am now uh, recording a round one match of DNYCS Santiago that started today. Well, yesterday when I uploaded this video. Um, it, we have a very interesting first round match. Double DNYCS world champion Red Gamer 7 in the blue there against someone else with a very good DNYCS ranking down in flames. This will be a match, a match duel, so two or three duels, best out of three. And, uh, yeah, it'll probably be a longer video than normal, but it's interesting. I, I'm really liking that I can help out, uh, that I've been asked to, and allowed to help out with the DNYCS coverage. And I suppose for me personally, there's an extra little bonus because I have my YouTube video. Hey! I have my daily Yu-Gi-Oh! videos on my channel, so everyone who's watching this from DN forums, youtube.com slash alco Daily Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, you should watch. Anyway, that's all for the advertisements. Let's look at the duel. Red Gamer 7 is going first. I actually missed due to my intro who won RPS, but Red Gamer is going first. They are carefully planning their strategy. A hero lives. Ooh, e-heroes. Fusion heroes or masked heroes? Masked heroes is very likely since that they do seem to do the best, generally. Very costly first turn. It, it can be a very nice setup, but... 4,000 life points if that's interrupted, if you don't have some nice back row. 4,000 is extremely costly. Let's see how well Red Gamer will be able to set something up. Shadow Mist, as expected. Shadow Mist effect will very likely be activated. Will it? Yes, indeed. Adding a change quick play spell from deck to hand. Mask change. Mask change 2. Could be form change, but very likely it's going to be mask change. But We'll see. Mask change. It is. Mask change is added to the hand via Shadow Mist's effect. I'm already noticing something that I do as well in my DNYCS matches compared to like regular duels, even in Raided. They take a lot more time to think. I take like three times as long to think about my possible moves in any DNYCS match compared to a regular duel or Raided. Maybe like when I would get, would get into high Raided, like 1500 plus, then maybe I'd think longer, but... Uh, you're allowed some uh, thinking time. I'm not going to complain about thinking time, especially in a tournament match like this. I do the same myself. Alright, down in flames. We don't know what they're playing yet, but that'll be very pretty soon. Dark Hole is played to get rid of Shadow Mist. That is interesting. However, are they going to bait out the Mask Change? Likely not, because then the Summoned Monster will still be taken out. Let's see what Red Gamer decides to do here. Meanwhile, we're getting some Watchers in. That is nice. Shadow Mist is taken out. Interestingly, Shadow Mist's other effect is not activated. Well, alright. Looks like it's Necross for Down in Flames. Necross of Brynak is discarded. Time for a new card. Necross of Clausolus is added to the hand. We don't have the gin lock anymore, but Necros are still quite powerful. Right, Kaleidoscope discarded, no, I mean, Kozolus discarded, Kaleidoscope added, and activated. Let's 
sending Harold and Arclight to the graveyard, summoning Necros a Unicorn from the hand. Arclight's effect will now be able to activate to search for a card from the deck. That will be Necros Mirror. It is immediately activated. Banishing Necros of Bryanek and Clausolus. And out comes Necros of Trishula. Ooh. Will the effect be allowed? Red Gamer immediately admits defeat. Likely without the Mask Jinx, they did not see a chance to counter it. Like they, they didn't have something like Mirror Force, and they needed the monster with Mask Jinx to do something. A very quick end to the first duel. Just that one Dark Hole taking care of that one monster was enough for Down in Flames, because they knew they'd be able to get multiple monsters out, Unicorn and Trishula in this case, which, if not disrupted by any uh, any trap effects, like Mirror Force, like Phoenix Chain, they will be able to push for game immediately, because of that 4,000 life point cost from Mihiro Hero Lives. So, it helped Red Gamer 7 set something up, but unfortunately, due to Down in Flames' Dark Hole, it didn't work out, and that costly 4,000 life points, you could say it cost them the game, but uh, that's hindsight. Hindsight talking is always easier. They're going sighting. They don't know a lot about each other's decks yet. From Red Game, we just know Shadow Mist. We know, uh, what's it called? A Hero Lives and a Mask Change. That's all we know. From Down in Flames, we know Necro's Mirror and Kaleidoscope. We have Unicorn, Bryanak, and a few other cards. However, from both sides, that's generally what you see in like a Necro's deck or a Mask Hero deck. I don't see a hero lives that often in Mast Hero, and I've seen quite a few played recently. However, I believe a hero lives is only limited, so that's probably why. Let's just look at the watchers chat for now. Alright, Dun Flames is ready with sighting. With their experiences, they'll know quite well what the other decks must. Uh, Musk Heroes and Necros are able to do, so they'll have some signing cards ready. They don't need to see all the cards because very likely they can pretty much already guess most of the cards in the opponent's deck. Maybe there's a few fun texts in there, things you don't expect, an extra copy of something. Generally, Necros would run two of each of the ritual spells, Kaleidoscope, Mirror, and um, what's the other one called? The other one? But I've seen people actually run three, and that uh, surprised me in one of my duels. Alright, Red Gamer can choose first or second, and chooses to go second in this second game. They want to be able to attack, and don't want Necro's player to attack. That is down in flames. Alright. Five cards in the hand, down in flames. What will be your opening move? Discarding Bryanek, just like before. That's able to search for a Necroz Ritual Monster, but it, which could then be immediately summoned if they already have a spell. They could also search for Close Olas, just like they did last game. Um, taking the shortcut there. Uh, adding Kaleidoscope, just just like before, yeah. Are they going to make the exact same opening move as earlier? Not completely, because Trishula is not as useful. Arclight to summon Unicorn. Arclight used. Are they adding mirror? Or are they adding the other one? Oh yeah, they can add ritual monsters as well. I almost forgot Necros of Valkyrus is added, and that thing arguably one of the better it's one of the better cards I feel in Necros. It's definitely the one when I faced um Necros in like in the last DNYCS, but also in another big tournament. I actually forget what it was. This thing has really hurt me. I've been wanting to attack so much, and I've really been able to, but Necros of Valkyrus has stopped me from beating my opponent quite a few times. Like, multiple times in one duel. So, when I face Necros, I know of, like, what cards to watch out for, but especially the existence of Valkyrus. Now, Red Gamer knows there is a Valkyrus. They know there's Necros cards in the grave. Three in total, already. And... So Valkyrus is very easily live. They can negate any attack. Not just a direct attack, just any attack. It can be a direct attack, it can be an attack on a monster. They can negate the attack and the battle phase.
the blue corner is carefully planning their strategy. Looking at their extra deck, checking what possible mask change fusions or exceses they could bring out. They get rid of Unicorn to stop Valkyrus, because Unicorn on the field, yeah, 2300 attack, but you have to remember Unicorn's effect. Negate the effects of all face up monsters on the field that were special summoned from the extra deck. Which is the mask change fusions, the regular fusions that Red Gamer may have, exceses, so. You'll just need to overpower him. What? Necros of Prynak? I thought he was playing Mosque Heroes. Or is he playing a combo? Or does did he do the... This is... A, I'm making it seem like it's Mosque Heroes and then I'm siding into Necros or something. Or is it actually a Necros deck with a few Mosque Change cards? That they just happened to have the Moss Change stuff out last time with the Necros cards that couldn't really start a combo. Okay! Okay! <laughs> oh, Dawn in Flames. Okay, Red Gamer. Show us. You say not really, so you may not have a great hand for uh, Necros plays. But you could still do some stuff. Valkyrie still exists in the hand of Down in Flames, so that is definitely something Red Gamer will be keeping in mind. They cannot destroy you or Valkyrie. Well, they can, but very likely Valkyrie will be used. And would they des destroy Unicorn, then that does make. Hey, excuse me. It does make it possible for the ritual spells to work. Ooh. Valkyrie's Unicorn. Maybe that is also why Red Gamer actually admitted defeat early in the last game, because they may not have seen 100% chance of the opponent to win, maybe like a 95% chance, but the one, the 5% chances they may have had to win would have meant they would have revealed one of their Necros cards, and they didn't want that. They wanted to have the element of surprise for this game. Valkyrus chooses itself to draw two new cards. Okay, that is interesting. What do they do now? I need a Necros spell card from deck to hand. Which card is going to banish alongside it? It'll be Valkyrus. So Necro spells added. Kaleidoscope cannot be added. Activated a second time this turn. So it'll be Mirror or the other one. Cycle, that was the other name. Alright, that can actually summon Necros monsters from the graveyard. So that is why it is important to see which Necros monsters you leave there. So they wanted to leave Unicorn as opposed to Valkyrie. They don't make an extra move though, so they may have been hoping for some good draws from Valkyrie and possibly didn't get them. They did add with um, Kaleidoscope already. They could have also waited with that until the next turn, not revealing the fact that they have Cycle now. Watch them have, like, Gores. Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, to place a monster on the field. Yeah. 2300 direct attack. No extra summons from Down in Flames, interestingly. Maybe there's an extra Valkyrie in the hand. Whether it is or not, it's not used. So the direct attack goes through 2300 damage to Red Gamer 7.
<laughs> Down in flames having a little joke with the watchers. Well, Red Gamer carefully is considering the strategy. They're already behind one game. And earlier said, not really, when Down in Flames thought they'd get left. Now here comes the hero lives. Here comes the hero part of the deck. <laughs> Still find it very interesting. I know you like Shadol and like Necros, and then you have like the water fusion and stuff, and you could do that. I've seen that. I've seen Necros with a few other things. I've not seen it with masked heroes yet. 2850 life points, not as much as the 4000, but still leaves you with 2850. But possibly this is one of the few options Red Gamer has left. Or they just don't have any monsters, so they want to use it now. Might as well to have extra defense. Here comes Shadow Mist's effect. Adding a change quick play spell is a mask change again. It could very well be an immediate mask change use right after a hero lives and uh, Shadow Mist have resolved to go into. What was it? Dark Law and attack into Unicor. However, Valkyrus is still in Down in Flame's hand. Mask change it is. <laughs> Necro's Mirror comes out. A three and a four to summon Necros Agunia. I need to remember what that thing does. I don't see it a lot. You can discard a Necros card, chuck it a card on the field, and destroy it, which isn't used. Agunia is used to attack Unicor. Is Valkyrus used? Is going to be used? Yes or no? Do they want to save Unicor? Or do they want to just let it be taken out, take 200 damage, and make a Latoscope live for a search? Valkyrus is used, it is discarded. A Necros card is banished from the graveyard, and the battle phase is ended. Unicorn is saved. Nope, sorry, not down for a duel. I'm um, unofficial, Dean Weiss, here's coverage. Uh, business. Alright, one face down card. About to be mask change. Could be something else, just a mess with uh, down in flames, but very likely that this is indeed mask change. You did it again, mask change is face down, and you just right get key on the shadow mist. How do you do this? Pro well, they did keep uh, continuously shuffle their hand after they added a card, so we can't be sure if they just drew into it or had it for a few turns. Is this game? Red Gamer probably is trying to find that out now. Because this will take out Gunyir and the Shadow Mist, or whatever Mask Change, Mask Hero they would want to bring out with uh, Mask Change, but they're probably not going to because it'll be just Rebel Raigeki. So, Unicorn will be able to deal 23. Let's see that. Let's say that works. 550 life points left. Um, one more monster that can attack. Uh, we'll be able to deal everything. So, let's say, uh, Manju of the 10,000 hands. Could just take it with a direct attack. You could overlay Unicorn with Manju after just Unicorn attacked. Uh, into Gaga -ga Cowboy, use its effect for 800 damage. There are a few options. Let's see what happens here. Is this game? Mask change is used. Interestingly. Shiver in Shadow Mist. What is summoned? Dark Law is summoned. The question is why? Because it's taken out. Do they want to empty their field for something? Do they have Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, after all? Even if they do, if Unicor attacks and they have a Manju. Right, Necro Cycle comes out. There goes the Shirit. There goes the Max C. 
Ooh, interesting. So there might be a few draws. Maxi hasn't been seen a lot in top decks. At least I've not, not been following YCSs a lot. D and YCS anyway. I've barely seen Maxis. But who knows? Valkyrus comes out. One card is drawn. And now sure, its effect will be able to add a warrior type uh, Necros monster to the hand. That'll be Bryanak. Bryanak would be able to search immediately. Chances are that's why they're sticking in the deck and then just discard Bryanak afterwards. They're doing that. Bryanak into Clozolus. Clozolus goes. Whoa. Okay. That shortcuts. Mirror is added. Those were indeed shortcuts. They were a bit too quick. Red Gamer may have a response. They may just want to read something. Could be. Let's see what it is. When you add Clozola, so Brian X effect is okay. The roll and lock bird. Whoa. So during their office you can send them from your hand. For the rest of this turn, neither player can add cards from the deck to their hand. Interesting draw and lock bird. I've not seen that for I've had it in a side deck for one tournament. I didn't set it in much. But I do believe that was before Necros was a thing though. No cards can be added from deck to the hand anymore, so Clazelis cannot be used. However there's still two direct attacks possible. Does Red Gamer have anything to stop the direct attacks? Very good to mention from Down in Flames. Not smart to forget your side screen, but if you forget, you will say it like this, because then would the opponent still leave, then I feel that you should be able to just win without the side screen. What can Red Gamer do? They have Valkyrus? They have a Valkyrus in the Book of Moon s goes, uh, puts Unicorn face down, which doesn't make it attack, therefore Valkyrus cannot negate the attack. And game over! Downing Flames had what they needed to stop Red Gamer. Very interesting, uh, Down in Flames is using Necros, Red Gamer using a combination of Mosk Heroes and Necros. So would they be interviewed at the end of the tournament? I don't know. But um, we'll uh, find out eventually, I suppose. It's definitely interesting. Alright, that was the duel video for today, for those on my channel, and for everyone who's um, watching this from... Uh, from Duel Network forums. That was the coverage for round one. It was down in flames against the double the Wizards World Champion, Red Gamer 7. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll maybe see you guys uh, in the next round with another Duel co for, uh, for coverage. I'll try to record at least one each round, if possible, if I know of a match that's going on. And otherwise, well, maybe not every round, but we have multiple people in our in our coverage team, so that should work out. Bye.